All right, I got the snow machine stored inside. I got the stove shut down, everything put away. I'm just putting these bear shutters on so the bears don't come in and bust my windows. The bear shutters for the cabin here are just slab wood from cutting on the mill. There's a framework that I spike into the wall. You slide them in, slide them out. That way it's easy to put in, put out. And, you know, of course, the bear doesn't know to slide anything, so he's not going to try that. So the idea being that uh, if a bear comes along, which he will, he'll just walk by the cabin and just assume that's all solid log. If he wants to get in, you know, they'll get in. But the idea is to not give them a reason to tear through your cabin. The idea is to make it not worth his while. A bear doesn't do stuff for nothing. So if you don't give him a reason to tear into your cabin, he probably won't go in. Bear shutters and nailing the door shut and stuff is just kind of a little deterrent. It doesn't guarantee they're not going in, but it's something. All right, I better get out of here. Daylight lasts six hours this time of year, so Marty has to keep a tight schedule in order to make the four-hour trip back to Two Rivers. It's a long flight out here, and you never know what kind of weather you're going to run into. So you want to have enough daylight to get back and hopefully a little extra to deal with any problems that might pop up. And I don't want to get too late of a start. The weather looks good. There's some wind around, a headwind. It's not too bad. I sure hope the winds and weather up in Hellhole Pass aren't too bad. All in all, it looks like a pretty decent day. But that's here. I've got a long ways to go. We're not at the top of the food chain here. We're living in the animal's environment. There's a lot of ways to die out here. You gotta be tough to survive. 